Welcome to the channel of the Roving Vets. I'm Bethany. And I'm Rob. And we also have a fur baby Maverick. We have been living the full-time RV life since October of 2020. We're also both Army veterans, which is why we chose the name The Roving Vets. On this episode, we're going on another side-by-side -side adventure from Quartzsite, Arizona to Kofa National Wildlife Refuge. We're going to show you some footage of some places that you can only get to by an off-road vehicle or by foot. Let's go! We are going to go on a side-by-side -side adventure today with some people we've met here at Quartzsite. Got my yummy sandwiches made. Yeah. All right, so I got our sandwiches made, got our drinks in our coolest cooler over here we got from the trade show. Uh, I got my sandwich, I got Rob's sandwich, I got me some chips. I do it this way so it don't get smashed. I've, I bet I've got at least two bottles in there. I bet three would fit. All right, so we are having people starting to show up. It's going to be a nice ride today. We're officially starting. Here we go. We are to follow the four-wheelers or depending on where you're from, you might call it a quad. I feel like we are probably... Party break time, I think. So, we all out here in the middle of the desert. Beautiful day today. Beautiful day. We are at Kofa Wildlife Refuge out here riding today. What you thinking about it, Rob? I think it's pretty awesome. Yeah. I'm excited about it. It's lunchtime, dear. She gets comments on her sandwiches. I know, I've never heard anybody comment on my sandwiches until today, and now I've had two. <laughs> Time to eat. Yep. There's a sandwich in there if you want it. I'll put you a sandwich in here. I got your name on yours and my name on mine. Rob. Yeah. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, ain't it, dear? And by the neighborhood, I mean Kofa. We are at Kofa today, and what a beautiful view here. It's uh, it's it's lunchtime. Time to eat our yummy foods.
I smell fuel, but... different kind of cactus at the same time. Look, yeah. how, look how many different ones you can see right now. It's incredible. They're everywhere you can. That's one kind of cactus. That's one kind of cactus. I actually don't see any choya right now. I haven't seen prickly pear yet. Yeah. That's one I have not seen. It's a beautiful day in Popa Wildlife Refuge in Southern Arizona. We having some struggle busting with this little guy this morning. Oh, it's not when we turn it off and don't want to come back on. This is just incredible. Wow. I'm doing it this way so you can see all of it in one view instead of it being this way and missing part of it. Um, wow, I just, it's incredible how you still can't even from the top to the bottom, even in this view. Wow, wow. I don't think you 
can make it in the camper. We might be able to make it in the Jeep. I really don't know. Oh yeah, I don't think you're doing your camper again. Yeah, the camper ain't doing all this. Not a chance. So those are the things that I showed you earlier that were so green. Most of the time you see them, they are like this. So that's why it's been so shocking for me to see so many green ones. Call me a kid this morning when I told him I wanted to do this. We are kids here. We're probably the only couple that's still young enough to be filling each other up still. <laughs> well, there's a rain catchment system up here. You know what? Maybe that's the only purpose. Maybe this is for like the weather system or something, and you can know how much it rains up here and it reports back somehow. Chicago. And when I say that, that is a complete and utter guess. <laughs> Sounds like a logical guess, but it's still a guess. All right, so we're testing these coolers yeah, out, right? Because yeah. uh, that's who we are. We're going to test something before we're going to push it. Hope we can it. make it back now. This is we the put point, some right? canned drinks right that were in the fridge. We put no ice in the cooler this time. Just cold drinks to see what happens. And that was at right at 9 a.m. And it is 1.48 and they're still cold. Pretty good. What do you think about the ride so far, dear? Been going pretty good so far. Going good so far? Mm-hmm. It's a beautiful day, eh? It really is. Couldn't have chosen a this much better day. This is the halfway day. point, so hopefully we can make it back in one piece. We started out right up this time. <laughs> Here we go. Lunch break is over. I'm going to make the assumption that the reason the Rhino was struggling, my, I didn't even Kofa. Yeah, this is Kofa. Beautiful. Kofa is Wild absolutely Africa. gorgeous, y'all. And you can boondock in Kofa.
that is asleep on the mountain. And by that, I mean the mountain itself. See all the choya up there? It almost just looks like little baby trees. But nope, that is all choya. This is the Arizona. I feel like you see it, boo. We're doing it today, y'all. So the other day I told Rob I felt like I was on the land before time because of all of the scenery out here. Now that's real life. Hang on, look. Can you see there's some clouds coming from that mountain over there? So it really does look like a volcano out here is coming. How crazy. <laughs> So apparently this little area is known for their desert rose, which is a type of rock. So that's what everybody's out here looking for. Rob claims he found the mother load. A bunch of really cool ones over here. I'm stacking mine. Look at this one. I want to dig it up real bad, but I ain't got nothing. <laughs> We are out here at Kofal Wildlife Refuge today doing side by side with a group of people that we met here. We only knew one of them, well, knew one of them, had met another guy, and then the rest of them we met today. And it's a beautiful day out here, look. Couldn't have picked a better day to come do this. It definitely feels a lot more comfortable than the other day when I was so cold. Beautiful day out here today. Cactus are very bizarre, bizarre plants, and I'm going to show you why I said that. When you look at cactus, towards the bottom, it oftentimes just looks dead. But as you go up the cactus, you can actually see the color where it changes colors between where it looks dead and it doesn't look dead anymore towards the top. You can see that different color. You see the same thing with those choya cactus. So bizarre. Well, it's uh, coming towards the close of the day here. I know Ron had said that this ride would be until about 4 and it's about 10 till. So I'm saying we're probably we're pretty close to the end. Man, what a day we've had. It's beautiful. It's a little dusty out here. He probably has like 20 pounds of dirt. <laughs> we had a successful day on that ride today at Kofa. Uh, now, we just got back and we're going to take Maverick out and let him do his doggy thing. <laughs> but very successful day today. We had a blast. It was a beautiful day. Perfect weather. I started off in long sleeves, a short sleeve shirt on under that, a tank top under that, oh, and a jacket. I ended up in my tank top and now I'm back onto short sleeve shirt. So, wonderful day today. So if you think that riding side by sides, kayaking, full time RV life, all of that kind of thing is something that you might want to see more of, make sure you hit that subscribe button and check us out. We'd love to have the support. Until next time.